Hey, it's Science Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what are your person's thoughts and feelings about you right now. It is going to be a general reading. If you're after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. The email address is going to be listed just below the video. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords. Now you've got a fair bit of um, air energy, which could mean that you may be dealing with a um, air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Um, otherwise, this is mental energy. Air energy governs the mental realm. So uh, think attitude, communication, thoughts, beliefs. So Two of Swords, this may... Um, predict a no contact no communication between you and your person okay or perhaps blocked energies there may be something that is blocking your person um, from coming forward uh, this may be a blocked heart a blocked uh, like um, heart chakra um, this may be you know closed off to any contact communication at this particular point in time but there's obviously some sort of blockages they may as well be internal though inner disturbances internal blockages which are then preventing your person from maybe speaking um, about their feelings or moving the relationship or the connection forward um, it does feel as though this is someone who has you on their mind so the person that you're thinking about is also thinking about you too but it feels like there's some sort of emotional dis like emotional disturbances or an emotional turbulence that is going on with your person i do feel like there's a bit of imbalance going on in the energies here and i feel like there somehow is someone else involved you've got the three of swords and of course the three of cups so um maybe this is something you're already aware of but it seems to be you your person and it feels like there's someone else if it's not someone else maybe this person is holding space for someone else to come into their life and therefore they're not necessarily committing themselves to this relationship maybe they're holding space for an ex or they're holding space for something which is why they're hesitant or reluctant to commit if you've noticed otherwise it could be something else there could be something else like for instance there may be someone in this person's ear who's trying to influence this person from um, you know pursuing this relationship or trying to influence this person like trying to pull them away from you and away from the relationship um, which is really interesting but you are dealing with someone who i feel like is hurting this person is hurting and they may be projecting their hurt and their pain onto you maybe the last time you guys spoke there was um a lot of things that you said to each other or the way in which you spoke to each other which maybe you or your person felt misunderstood or you felt hurt by the words that were being said but there's definitely an underlying theme of hurt and pain which may be the very reason why it's created this contact this no contact and the separation um, or maybe the fact that the, you're in no contact and no, separ uh, no communication with this person is only adding to the pain that you're feeling right but emotional turmoil heartbreak uh, pain loss betrayal with the three of swords um, i don't know if this person has inflicted this on you or if you've um you're you know if you're on the receiving end of this or if you were the one to have betrayed your person or if they feel betrayed by you somehow um, there's definitely a lot of hurt that this person is dealing with and is trying to process right now in particular i feel like this person is really hurt by some sort of recent event or something that they've recently come to discover something some recent information that has been shared with them or that they've come across and this is something that i feel like has really hurt them has really um i feel like it's really it's like it, it broke them honestly whatever this is king of swords i do think that this person wants to communicate okay i feel like this person has things that they really want to share with you and that they really want to tell you 
but I don't think right now they're ready to do that because they are closed off to communicating okay right now it feels like even if you were to text this person I don't think that you would get a response um I don't think that they're ready to talk I don't think they're ready to communicate just yet and it feels like yeah there's they just want it feels like they're very closed off right now they're closed off to you they close their energy off to this relationship and they're very closed off to people and uh like family and friends around them as well they're spending a lot of time on their own it appears and I think they're doing a lot of thinking they're doing a lot of thinking and perhaps even overthinking especially if it's, a, if it's an air sign it makes sense um air signs are quite um they tend to you know think a lot and tend to overthink and overanalyze um you will hear from this person i feel but i don't think right now i just feel like they're trying to process and manage their feelings and especially whatever it is that has come to light lately um now, when you're going to have a conversation, the King of Swords encourages transparency and honesty. So, um, I think, I don't know if this is your energy or your person's energy, but I think that this betrayal, this hurt that has come to light, I think someone he has found out about this and not only were they hurt by, you know, the betrayal done onto them, but I think they were just as hurt as the fact that it was kept from them like that's what the action itself was very hurtful and painful but the fact that someone he decided to keep it from them or keep it from you would that in itself felt like the sting of betrayal so i feel like they're trying they're still processing that or maybe this is your energy you're processing this and i think right now they're not ready to let their guard down right now they're not ready to talk um, they do have a lot of things to say to you they don't know how it, how to say it and maybe the last time you guys spoke there was a lot of things that were said in, in like a in a fit of rage and a lot of words that were exchanged that were hurtful or painful um like it was a very charged up energy and that's because this person was hurting a lot okay this, per this person was hurting a lot and it came out as like an um some sort of emotional outbursts king of wands energy i do see that this person is going to take action they either are going to take action to you know try and reconcile um, or try and reconnect or try and work through things okay but right now it just feels like this person is standing back and pulling their energy away um it feels like they're trying to unburden themselves from this hurt and from this pain i think that this energy is really weighing them down and especially weighing this connection down i feel like they're trying to move away from what has happened here um but i think that they can't get past something to me it feels like they're stuck on something um they may be in an attempt to try and process and deal with this pain they may be trying to distract themselves um by maybe trying to spend a little bit more time with their family and friends or going out a little bit more um, just try and lift their spirits but i think that underneath it it's not going to change you know what's going on with them emotionally and internally it feels like this person wants the truth or either this person wants to hear the truth from you or they want to speak the truth to you but if you guys were to reconnect or come back um for another go at this it feels like they want to do things differently this time around and they want to do things like they want to be more honest and more transparent with you and they want to give that to you and they ask the same in return i just think that this this three of swords situation has has brought out a lot into the open and there was either there was someone else here there was a third party um that this person has put you through or that you put them through but i think it's brought out a lot of other issues that were kind of simmering beneath the surface right and all of a sudden this three of swords situation happened and it's kind of just allowed for all these other issues to to spill out um you may you may be attending some sort of event where this person i think is going to be there in attendance as well some sort of social gathering or event or a party of some sort that you both just happen to be there you may have a chance to talk with this person there um the two of you may sit down 
over drink over coffee and reconnect um, or especially at this event or I feel like seeing this person is going to and them seeing you is going to bring back a lot of memories right um, a lot of emotions that I feel like they'll want to maybe lean into I do think that this person wants to commit so if they have if they've been a bit of a non-committal type of energy if they've been a bit of a fluctuating energy I just think whatever it is that went down here between the both of you has really um, allowed them to see how much you mean to them and how much they actually want to work through things okay unfortunately you know it, it has taken them this to appreciate you and appreciate what they had so I do think that this person is coming in with more of a committed energy um, and I think they might want to see a little bit more commitment uh, from you too you know committing to doing this thing committing to working through this committing to resolving this but right now it just feels like where you guys are at right now I mean two of swords three of swords there's definitely a lot of things going on emotionally and internally and it appears as though this person just needs the space to go through all of those emotions like they cannot store it's important that they don't store whatever it is that they're feeling inside of them they need to let those emotions like pass through them but they need to feel them as well they need to feel the anger and the hurt otherwise they'll just suppress it and bottle it up inside and that is not healthy um, so this person I feel like is intentionally not wanting to communicate maybe because they know that this is only going to make things worse between the both of you right now or they know that they're you know they know themselves they know that they're angry and communicating right now might mean that they may say something to you which they may regret later on so they don't want to lash out which is why they want to give themselves that time and the space to process whatever it is that's going on here um, but the hierophant is a good energy because I do think that the both of you are going to take steps in you know wanting to commit to each other wanting to commit to make this work and wanting to improve on the relationship and on this connection all right guys and these are your messages thank you for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by liking sharing and subscribing bye for now